Hi guys, it's Triple C. Um, here in Taiwan, we have to wear the masks, but nothing is really banned. However, there isn't too much of a going out that you can do. So I figured today we're gonna do something completely on snow job. Let's build up some Gundams. So right off the bat, let's take a look at the box. It says SD Gundam. SD means super deformed, if I remember right. This is by Dwendai from 1992, made in Japan. F90 is the model of the Gundam. I don't know, I can't remember too much of them, even though I used to read the manga. But I never really followed them up. Oh, those look cool. You know, there's a lot of guys that's so good at it. They can do their own painting. They can paint the lines and the colors under those models and it look just like in the the anime or in the manga. I always envy these guys, but it was never such a hobby that I'm willing to learn to that extent. So to me, like what you see here, these stickers are as far as I will go. All right, so uh, those are the pieces. And of course, the instruction manual. It will teach you how to put it together, step by step. That looks actually pretty nice. All right, so uh, not too many steps. I think we'll be just fine. Man, I used to be so experienced at this, but it's just been way too long. I can't remember any of it. It's like, it's foreign, at the same time, it's familiar. I can't understand any Japanese, but these comics, or manga, those comic strips still pretty cool to me. Of course, you can make story up. All right, so uh, I guess let's get to it. And, uh, First of all, obviously, gonna take them out of these bags. All right, let's get them out first. I guess you can call this unboxing as well. So back in those times, it was a really, really different time. Actually, things like the animes, the classic animes with the more popular animes like Gundam. It wasn't on TV here in Taiwan. Uh, back then, there was only three channels. And you, you see some of the cartoons. We, we call them cartoons as well, but really the anime. You see some of them, but most of them are not on it. So as a kid, we used to have to go to the video store and we had to beg our parents if we can rent some of those, well, animes. And um, that's how you get familiar with them. But we were little, we don't know much about continuity, we just want to see them. So uh, I was never follow up on the stories until I grew up. A1 and A2, I guess you just want to look up it, just take them and uh, clip them together. Then you'll be good to go. So uh, there it is, A1 and A2. Yeah, so see these kind of models, they kind of standoffs and you don't need any glue, which makes which makes putting together much easier. As you can see here, it's sticking up, sort of like putting a Lego together, except not in the regular shapes. And all you gotta do is clip them together like so, good to go, and then you just have to cut them off. That's all there is. But before I take them off, Let's go to the next step. So the next step, number two, we going to get, put the head together. Let's put the head together. See, when you use those tools, I remember you just leave some stubble, but yeah, it uh, doesn't matter. I mean, ultimately this is toy. Uh, these things are designed for children, so uh, you don't really necessarily have to use a cutting tool to get them off. You could actually just easily push them off. 
these things are for your for the limbs. These things are for the limbs. Okay, so uh, here we go. Okay, so the body is good. These are for the rest of the limbs. These two, <coughs> these two are obviously for the leg, and these two are obviously sockets for the arms. So let's put it together. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right. Everything's in. Putting a model together is a lot like playing with simulation games. It's like a safe environment to, for you to learn how things work. At least that's how I feel. Whether if it's giant robots or if it's a, a car model, an airplane model, if it's a boat model, it doesn't matter. If it's a car model, you know, I learned how, where the engine is. I learned how the steering works. I learned how the wheels works. What made them roll and what sort of make them stock, things like that. And if it's like a giant robot model, actually, it's a lot like a person, isn't it? I see how limbs works, how mechanically, how they put together, and then how these people are so smart, where they can be so versatile. Uh, one single piece can be reused in various different ways. Like this model here, it can be transformed into um, an airplane or different models of the same robot, for example. So things like that is fascinating to me. To actually have it in your hands, you put it together and you know you play around with it, you understand how these things work. I don't know if I can explain it better. I mean, this is the same thing to a lot of things. A lot of times I like to DIY things myself because from it, you learn a lot of things that you wouldn't be able to learn from the books. Obviously, if you have the opportunity to actually learn it from school, from books, things like that, it would be even better. But, you know, if I get an opportunity to, doesn't matter what, I would like to try it out to actually physically trying it out. Because to me, I think that is the best way to learn because your brain actually understood what any other stuff means. So. Now putting this together, you understand the logic behind it. And then in a lot of ways in life, you can actually apply those logic as unlikely as it seems, but you know, in a lot of ways you can apply those logic to real life. And then, yeah, you help you through a lot of things.
Anyways, building the model is like going down a stoja land. So, I guess I'm already talking too much. So I guess for the rest of the video, let's just build this thing up. So how about that? Next piece, number 36. 